come to the next episode of Minecraft and in this kind of episode of a sub-series that is called Avarian Stories, I want to show you the final bits of uh, this my world and uh, to enter a little journey around and all over through uh, the other world that is kind of a bit, uh, I think, older than this one, but we will start from here and let's end uh, this one at first. So here I have my little kind of mansion uh, that is actually uh, built near this village and of course there were no fences like that because I placed uh, them uh, the fences uh, to protect the villagers uh, from uh, creepers and zombies and other uh, hostile mobs. Uh, so yeah, that kinda took a lot of wood, but thankfully I have a forest here, uh, a birch forest in fact, and the birch uh, trees uh, help, helped me uh, to build this house, because as you can see uh, some elements uh, of it are made out of uh, birch wood. Uh, that is actually quite nice looking, not only for flooring, but for walls uh, too, especially when I have kind of these two colors. And in that way I can have my normal windows, just one piece of uh, glass, and thanks to these stairs it doesn't look too tiny, because yeah, you basically have a fake uh, two block glass, like this half block, this half block, and only one block is actually glass pane. And here I have something to make it uh, kind of a more outstanding uh, with this balcony and I have a symmetrical one on the other side. And uh, here on the top level I have uh, this kind of uh, two symmetrical places where I have balconies and in the middle area I have uh, this little room where we have uh, enchantment room which looks kind of fine too. Uh, yeah, I have kind of more than I really need to, to have uh, uh, bookshelves, but uh, it uh, not only uh, suits its, uh, its kind of purpose, but actually it's uh, better looking in that way too. And uh, here I have a set of rooms, it's basically uh, four bedrooms or whichever rooms, uh, and I were planning uh, to actually put uh, some kind of uh, secret kind of entrances or passages through those rooms uh, and I could hide it by various uh, pictures, the big ones, but yeah, I ended playing in, th in this world at the time, so it never really got to me that much, never got to finish it. And here we have uh, basically a pretty nice but not very unique and not very uh, handy, because yeah, uh, the passages are not uh, wide enough for my kind of liking, because actually to take uh, an idea, to get an idea of uh, what actually looks and lies in those chests, you have maybe just look at the chest, but there are a lot of chests, of course, or look at the signs, but the signs are kinda hidden between the chests, and maybe if I were planning it now, maybe I will just uh, kinda, I would just uh, put the signs on top, so I can at least look at it from that way, and not just go into here. And uh, this place actually have some nice stuff, not a lot, uh, because I actually don't have any potions, just a couple of basic ingredients. Uh, but I have uh, some diamond stuff, extra diamond stuff, so always nice to have uh, a working pickaxe in diamond. And uh, I think I have yeah, a couple of diamond chests, not that unique, but still uh, pretty good. And maybe something more here. Yeah. Diamond sword, pretty good one, and even better uh, bow, which I have called Messenger of Gods. 
kind of reference to Tarot song, which is, yeah, Infinity 1, Punch 1, Flame 1, Power 4. I think it's pretty good ball. But we are ending the tour in this world because there is nothing much to show here except this kind of village that is uh, protected by the torches. Lighting is pretty good as you can see now if you look at a uh, block light level. So it's never kind of gets less than 8. And that's kind of enough at least I hadn't, uh, hadn't had any accidents. This world is called one more survival and yeah just one more survival but actually a pretty good one because I have here little kind of uh, riverside or oceans, oceanside uh, place uh, where I started. It's kind of near the spawn, or it is the spawn, I think. Uh, and that's why I built uh, these little houses. It's they are kind of little, maybe a bit of hobbit style or something like that because they're in the hills. And yeah, I have my little bedroom house, the basic survival stuff. And here are a couple of more uh, houses, little, very, very primitive and little uh, farm, which I made in the beginning just to not starve, uh, because that would be pretty embarrassing. And here I have a, a little place where I've gathered uh, basic cobble, uh, cobblestone to build stone tools and weapon and couple of these places. And uh, yeah, I have uh, uh, this kind of blacksmith, which uh, yeah, kind of has a lot of uh, uh, furnaces and I probably don't need that much of them. But anyways, before we will take a look in that direction, where I have my lighthouse and kind of the network of uh, settlements connected by mostly railways. Uh, which actually uh, is the place or the world where this my concept started, where you build one place, uh, get your farms, your tools uh, kinda in them, and then just uh, build a railway on kinda 100 blocks or so in the next direction, and yeah, just link uh, the whole system in that way. So yeah. Uh, before I actually uh, planned uh, those settlements, I built another one here, and yeah, I can't actually call it a settlement because it's a tiny house uh, that is kind of stuck uh, to the wall, to the slope of uh, the mountain. And here I actually have uh, just a safe place to sleep through the night, and I don't even have a bedroom here, so you just kind of spend the time. Uh, at least uh, pretty safe time uh, from creepers and zombies and that kind of folks. Uh, so I haven't found anything kind of interesting here, so I moved in different direction. But before that, I built that kind of farm. Yeah, it's also very, very primitive. It doesn't have even a couple of uh, blocks wide of farming uh, space, so it's not very efficient to uh, but uh, the whole kind of this pit, kind of our crater, something like that is very uh, kind of looks like that, uh, was uh, nice at the time. And now we will uh, continue uh, to the other direction. From that place, actually, I don't have uh, a good place uh, to land from the boat because, yeah, it's pretty deep and when you are uh, getting to the land uh, from the boat, the boat tends to run away from you in the ocean, so it's not very nice to catch. But here I have actually uh, this tunnel uh, to pass through because I haven't built, uh, hadn't built any houses uh, on that side, and uh, my main uh, network of settlements lies uh, here, and as you can see, already chunks uh, loading. And we can see my lighthouse. Of course, I uh, built another house 
kind of more little stuff uh, to pass through the night and to sleep through the nights uh, while I building this kind of more massive stuff. It actually it's pretty nice looking and I think we will land. But here I have this little house. It's basically another safe house uh, just made of uh, bricks, ordinary clay, clay bricks. Uh, and here I have a good example, a good sample of my kind of closed farm concept, which I no longer use because it's kind of takes resources and time to build. And uh, I actually don't care that much any longer about farms because it's just enough in most cases uh, to protect it with uh, that kind of uh, fence. So yeah. Uh, so here I have a little bit uh, bigger, larger farm, but it's still just one block wide, so it's not very efficient, but at least I have enough uh, wheat to make some bread, which I kind of currently using in this world, or we're using some other stuff, of course plenty of seeds, because you always have them, too much of them. And uh, here we have my mining site, which started not as a mining site actually, but as a kind of ground lava lake, ground level lava lake. So I got a possibility uh, to make uh, this portal and another one in that direction. And uh, we will take a look uh, on this lighthouse, which is actually pretty nice. Yes, yeah, this uh, couple of windows are pretty primitive, but still uh, it's made of cobblestone, but it looks like kind of thing that it looks pretty nice. That's my kind of initials L O A. You can see that much O, but basically last Huari. And here we have another one just made of uh, a little different and maybe a little bit more suitable and good looking materials, uh, blue wool and uh, glowstone. And here we have pretty good, nice uh, round room, pretty good room, with kind of a little bit uh, rounded arcs, arcways. And here we have uh, kind of the watchtower segment, because you can actually look uh, pretty nicely. I even uh, broke here a window or windows all around the place uh, to look more clearly and without that stupid uh, white stripes uh, which uh, uncolored, untinted glass uh, pane has. So yeah, it's pretty safe, of course you can always fall, but it's actually uh, pretty good looking and that uh, kind of little tower segment makes it even uh, better because you at least can uh, look at it uh, from the outside. That looks kind of yeah. okay. And here we have our cobble way, a little bridge. Uh, kind of bridge is not so large, but it uh, actually made uh, at this level of elevation, uh, so I still uh, can get under it in a boat. So it's nice too. And we will take our way onwards, forwards, in the next episode uh, of uh, Minecraft vlog. And here I have some more uh, places to visit and to show, but actually it's not that uh, a lot of places, because uh, this uh, kind of backup version is not finished, and when I finished my Minecraft in Russian episode in this, in this world, I have actually some more places, but I now can't find that version, the final variant. Of the world, but it's still kind of a couple of places to go. So if you liked uh, that uh, story, uh, that episode, you can always uh, push the like button. And uh, yeah, of course, if you have any comments, any questions to me about Minecraft, about my Minecraft story, you can always ask them in the comments section below. And uh, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.